Hi guys. So I'm just popping in. I'm still working on that blanket. Look how far I've come. It's looking awesome. So um, I've got just this little bit left. I am using a different color. I've already gone through a skein of this color. Um, I was originally going to go with the colors that I started with. But when I went to pick up more, they didn't have it. So I decided to go with this and, uh, you know, just add a little bit of a different look to it. So, um, yeah, it's coming along. Once I finish this skein, it will be complete. Um, and then, yeah, um, I think the next video that I am going to do, I lost where I was working. Let me see. Where, oh, where is it? All right. And there have been some times, there it is, that I've had to back up. In fact, I've got all this here because I had to back up because I noticed that when I got to a corner, there were a couple times where I forgot to put a double in there. So then it started to curl. And I was like, dang it! And then I'd have to pull it out to that spot and go again. And I just recently did that. So I was like, dang it, now I gotta start again. Um, or at least go back a row or two, because I usually notice it after I've done a good deal, and then I have to pull it all out. So, um, yeah. This has a little bit of a different look to it. It's a little thinner, even though it's the same um, brand. Um, actually, you know what? I don't even think it is the same brand. This is Lion Brand, and the other one was uh, Burnett. So it's not even the same brand. It's still soft. It's got the same kind of look. So I'm the. it's a little thinner, and it's got sparkle in it. So I just thought it would give it a little bit different um, look on the blanket, and I like it. Um, so hopefully, hopefully my friend will like it for her baby. Um, but I think my next project with um, Halloween coming up, I was thinking maybe we can uh, make some... crochet some pumpkins, maybe a bat, maybe a ghost, who knows, like not, not necessarily a stuffed, not necessarily stuffed, um, maybe like applique, um, type things, some leaves maybe, um, but I think one of the bigger things that I want to do here in the next little bit, um, after I get this blanket done, is a poncho um, and we can do a poncho together so with the fall weather and everything coming up I thought maybe that would be something cool that we could work on um, hope everybody is doing well I cannot re I cannot believe that we are in October now you guys cannot believe it um, this year just seems to have absolutely flown by and huh, I can't believe we're at the end of the year it's ridiculous um, this afternoon I look so I need to go and put makeup on and stuff um, in a couple of hours I have a job interview um, hopefully it is for a front desk at a hotel um, and I can't wait to, I really can't wait to get out of the job that I'm in. Food service sucks. Customers suck. <laughs> I, it's just, you know, people get so nasty when it comes to food and um, having to wait or anything like that. I so totally sounds like it's raining outside and it's the sun's out. Um, look, the cat is using the um, 
curtain as a hammock. Um, but what was I saying? But yeah, mostly the hours that I'm working right now completely suck. Um, the I'm always I don't get any family time anymore. Um, whenever I'm home, no one else is, and when I have to work is when everyone's home. So it. I really don't like it um, and it's you know if it was something I absolutely had to do I would do it you know if I had to do it I would put up with it but this is not something that I have to do so I would like to find something that more caters to you know not having to sacrifice family time um, I can't remember the last time that I had dinner with my husband. It's, you know, it's, it's stupid. So I want to, this, uh, hotel desk job, um, would, I already told them cause they said, what hours would you want? Um, and I said, well, what shifts are there? And they told me, um, 7am to 3, 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. And I was like, seven to three, that's what I want. Seven to three. So that would allow me to be home for dinner with my husband, finally. Um, and I wouldn't have to work in that evening. And I'll have weekends off. And, you know, I'm really, I'm really looking. I really hope it works out. I really do. So, um, yeah, that's this afternoon. And then I have to go to the crazy job where I got to close um, at 4 so I'm just getting some crochet time in here um, I'm still sick I don't know I, I've had a cold off and on since the beginning of September like this is my third one and it just hangs on and hangs on and I think it's my wacky schedule um, right now my neck hurts too but that that has nothing to do with that but I've got a headache um, just just not feeling well and uh, I'm hoping that getting a more um, predictable schedule will help so um, because before I I had a predictable schedule I was working six o'clock in the morning to two o'clock in the afternoon I went to bed early because I knew I'd have to get up at five o'clock in the morning you know, I had a predictable schedule. Now it's like some days I open, but more often than not I close and I don't have to be at work until like four, three, four, five o'clock. Um, and then I end up staying up late and getting up late or then I have to get up early for, you know, it's, I don't have a good schedule. So... Yeah, um, I'm getting a call. Um, so anyway, yeah, so just working on this blanket. I'm almost done. I'm just going to go through this skein and I say I'm almost done, but really this disappears pretty quick, pretty quickly. Um, especially the bigger it gets. I mean, if you see here, this here is where the new skein started. Everything else is the older and that's, you know, all the rows I got. I got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six rows out of it. So it does disappear quite quick, quite quickly. So anyway, hope everybody is doing well. Let me know what you're working on if you're not doing the granny square blanket. Um, and let me know if you'd be interested in doing the poncho with me or, um, not or, and, um, maybe the applique, pumpkin, bat, uh, ghost, um, things. Um, I think it would be super fun when I was working at a, a job before the one I'm at now. I crocheted little applique bunny rabbits for Easter and they pinned them to their uniforms. I also did um, four leaf clovers. 
Um, so that was super fun and everybody loved them and the, wore them on their, you know, pinned them to their uniform. So I thought, hey, let's keep with the theme. I did a four leaf clover. I did a bunny. Now we can do pumpkins and ghosts and, you know, something like that. Leaves. So, yeah. Not much else going on here. Just taking it easy because, yeah, I am under the weather, so... I'm really not motivated to do a lot. One thing I do need to do today um, before I go to work is, oh, see, I can hardly turn my head. I gotta um, clean out the bunny's uh, litter box. Super fun. Um, I really need to get a higher sided litter box because when it starts to get fuller, because I've got wood pellets in there, they expand as they get wet. And so even though it doesn't look very full when it's a brand new, like cleaned out, the more they pee in it, it builds up and builds up. So then they're standing up higher in the box. And then, you know, when it's, when it's about time to clean it, they'll be sitting in there and they'll pee, but it'll go over the side onto their fleece because, you know, they're sitting up so high in it. Um... Yeah, so I always know as they sit up higher in that litter box that it is time to change it. And not that it wouldn't be time to change it if the sides were higher, but if I get higher sides, at least they wouldn't pee on the fleece. So um, I am looking to um, get rid of the fleece that they're on now since, I mean, I could wash it, but I need to get... Um, a laundry bag that you know it's it's the kind of bag where you could put something in it and wash it inside there so it keeps any junk out of your washing machine I don't want to put all the rabbit hair and any hay um, into my washing machine so I need to get one of those bags so that I could put the fleece inside it and um, wash it that way and keep all of the nasty out of my washing machine. But I cannot find them anywhere unless I order it on Amazon. So um, I just need to find the right time to be able to do that because I'm not, I'm not rolling in the money right now. <laughs> um, we are trying to catch up on debt and you know, it just, seems like that's just one thing that I need to hold off on so um, I'll just if I need to I will buy a bed sheet I will buy a full-size bed sheet and lay it down for them to use that and then maybe hold on to the fleece that could be washed later or something I don't know not that you guys are totally interested in that I mean this is a crocheting video and I just talked about my rabbits but I know that a lot of you are animal lovers and again I do have another channel called passion for pets um, that you can come on over and see um, I talk about all my pets in that video my two dogs my two cats my two rabbits my fish my snails um, yeah I've got I've got a lot so in fact I did a live video on that channel last night and my one dog Brinley who is a two-year-old American Bulldog mix was featured a lot in that video she was next to me in a lot of that um, so if anybody is interested in joining me over on that channel um, that would be super fun so yeah I'm going to let you go then and I'm going to continue with this blanket and I will again show you when it is complete which will be you know probably in about six rows <laughs> so um, yeah and then I will get some yarn together to do a poncho um, and I probably have got some scrap colors for um, those appliques the, is that how you even say that applique um, for the ghost and the pumpkin and all of that so I hope everybody has a great Tuesday and I will talk with y'all later <laughs>